We all have our worries and fears doing things that in our mind just feel wrong. Here you are. You're certain you're going in a way that you're going to get into some kind of trouble. So why do we keep going down that path? I'm Carlos and I'm from a, just a little village outside Barcelona. And this, this right here is my younger brother Alex. I remember when we were kids and my dad used to go to the Rally Dakar as a doctor and he'd come back with all the stories and these crazy pictures from the desert. Over the last few years, Alex and I, we've been kind of like away from home. We don't really speak that often when, when we're not together, but I guess a trip like this will be a good way for us to reconnect. So, we're in Algeciras. This is the last town of Spain before getting the ferry into Africa. There's something special about getting the ferry to Morocco. When you're in it, you see yourself kind of leaving home. And the moment you arrive, you realize you're in a completely different world. bikes are like a sense of freedom allow you to go to places where just other vehicles can't take you and for me that's just that's just an amazing feeling yes. <laughs> 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 Alex and I, we actually look quite similar and a lot of our friends say we could easily be twins but we are very very different Alex is my, my younger brother and he thinks through things a lot more than I do. Whoa. Uh, didn't take the best road. It's kind of disappearing. I don't know where we're going. And I get very passionate about the things I really want to do. Bye. It's so slow. Which makes me have a reputation in the family of being very reckless. Oh. 
Alex takes care of stuff and I'm usually the one that's in charge of most damages to our bikes. And he absolutely hates me for it. But he's still an idiot. No, but I like it. I mean, no. he broke a tent the first night we were in camping. A lot of time I just make fun of him because he's my brother. <laughs> We're gonna do a race with the bike stand off. And he'd do the same, he'd make fun of me because I'm his brother. In in our own way, but uh, yeah we we care for each other. Today was a long day. We did 280 Ks. Sitting in a oven right now. <laughs> Battery. Antes de Harun, hay una pueblo uh, a la okay. izquierda. Okay. 41 degrees. The whole bag just melted. Boy, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> you know she goes there. <laughs> yes, I guess my my reputation can stick. Right now is to just drive on it until we find some help, uh, which looks not very apparent right now. Mechanic? Um, no, sir. Yeah, flat tire. <laughs> oh. They told us it was impossible to find a mechanic now. We'd have to leave the bike here and spend our last night camping out here in the desert one more time. The things that I enjoy most about these type of trips is going with little plans and not many expectations. Por la montaña, al lado de la montaña, en este lado de la montaña. And sometimes you live through some of your experiences and make you realize that you know all those worries that you had, not such a big thing after all. We're gonna try to find our way back. But yeah, we're stuck and a little bit lost. It's hot. <laughs> This general attitude towards life definitely comes from my dad. Because it's allowed us to say yes to experiences and, and opportunities that otherwise we would have never even considered. I'm really grateful for it. Uh, because those moments are the ones that really make you grow as a person. And 
A trip like this has made me realize how lucky I am to have the family I have. <laughs>